What is up, guys? Thank you so much for checking out another video, guys. I really appreciate that. Uh, thank you so much for being patient. It's been over a month since I posted my last video. So um, I promised myself that once I posted the very next video, which is this video, I will start being more consistent. So uh, starting from now, I will be posting a lot more content for you guys. Um, I got back from vacation and kind of threw me off a bit and uh, I had some catching up to do. So now, finally, um, I am able to commit to make these videos for you guys again. So um, this video, I'm actually gonna talk about LCSs. I don't know if a lot of you guys know, but I have started working at, at an LCS. So um, I have some inside information that um, I kind of want to tell you guys, I see a lot of people coming into the shop and I can see right away when somebody's a new stacker and when somebody's an experienced stacker, when they come in as far as what they ask for, uh, the questions that they ask and things like that. So this video, I'm actually going to tell you how to buy from an LCS like a pro. So believe it or not, before I even started working at an LCS, I've only been to maybe a handful of different LCSs and uh, I've only walked into an LCS maybe, I don't know, seven or eight times. I never used to go to LCSs at all. I had a couple bad experiences um, with the shop owners and you'll get this too. You'll have some that uh, are not friendly or they try and rip you off um, until you find the right one. And when you find the right one, most likely, you'd be willing to drive the extra mile or two or three or 20 to get to that LCS knowing that you have a good person to deal with. But there's a couple of little things that you can do going into these different LCSs. And I actually did a little experiment to see if I was right about something. So uh, the LCS that I work at, since day one, I felt comfortable, I felt good about the prices that were offered and you know, I obviously have a lot of knowledge in Boolean, especially. So I knew right off the bat, you know, the prices being offered were really good and competitive. So right there, the relationship started off on a good foot. But I wanted to try a different LCS, and I gave another LCS a shot. I went there twice. The first time I went, I basically told them who I was, what I did. I had a YouTube channel based on precious metals and all this stuff and the prices <laughs> offered were around two dollars over spot a dollar fifty over spot a dollar seventy five over spot extremely reasonable prices for standard boolean then the second time i went and i ended up spending a good amount of money that first time i went i waited a couple months and the second time i went i basically acted like i've never bought a piece of boolean before because i wanted to see something and all of a sudden, guess what? $7 over spot, $6 over spot, and the prices made absolutely no sense. Canadian Maples, he was selling them for seven over spot or six over spot. And then Sunshine Mint Bars, he was selling for like eight over spot. Ridiculous, crazy prices that just did not make sense. As you know, uh, government backed silver usually has a, a, a little bit of heavier premium than something like a Sunshine Mint bar, especially a 10 ounce bar. So that's just an example of if you don't feel comfortable going to an LCS, comfortable with the information that you have and uh, basically the prices of what things are going for, some LCSs will sense that and they will take advantage. So you should do a little bit of research. Now the way, there's a rule of thumb basically, this is what you need to do. You gotta understand that the online dealers are gonna charge more than the LCSs because basically you are paying for the convenience of being able to go on a website and have almost an unlimited supply of Boolean and almost an unlimited uh, variety of Boolean. So you're paying for that convenience and it's getting shipped to your door. Whereas in LCS, you're actually going to the LCS and therefore, you're gonna buy it cheaper. They're not basically charging you that convenience fee that a lot of the online dealers do. And uh, if you're buying online, remember they, they have fees associated with 
you buying online. So all that gets added in and Amex ends up being more expensive. JM Bullion ends up being more expensive than an LCS should. So how do you basically navigate that whole thing, right? So you go to an LCS, you get an idea how much things are going for with the online retailers and you should know that an LCS should offer less than the online retailers. And that should be your rule of thumb. One of the downsides of LCSs is, is they don't have the, the newer numismatic coin. So like this will be really hard to find an LCS. This will be really hard to find at an LCS, right? It's mostly standard bullion that you're gonna be buying at these LCSs and they get deals um, in bulk, right? They buy from wholesalers. So there's three levels uh, before the bullying gets to you when you're buying from a retailer. If you work backwards, it's the retailer, you got the middlemen, which is the, the LCSs and things like that. And then you have the wholesalers that most of us don't have access to. You gotta buy thousands of dollars with the Boolean. You gotta join a group. You gotta have a certain license. You gotta have references. It's very hard to have access to a lot of those wholesalers, um, not to mention a massive amounts of, of capital that you need to have access to those wholesalers as well. So that most of the LCSs do have access to that. And Amex and Jam Boolean also have access to that. But once again, they are considered retailers because um, they charge all those different fees, the convenience fee, and um, they're getting you the new Boolean um, when, when it comes out, right? Right when it comes out, you can buy it from Amex, Jam Boolean, Bold, SD Boolean, all those guys you guys know, right? So. With the LCS, it's a little different. You're gonna have standard Boolean mostly. You're gonna have um, Eagles, Maples, Krugerins, and even Libertads are kind of hard to find at LCSs now because the demand is so high. So you're gonna deal with very simple Boolean. So if you arm yourself with enough knowledge uh, surrounding the standard Boolean, you're already ahead of the game. Uh, another thing that they will pitch to you and don't get me wrong, these sets are awesome, okay? These uh, US Mint sets are great, and they buy them by the ton. So they might push these on you, and there's nothing wrong with, if you're interested in the set, pull out your phone, look it up on eBay, and that's probably the only place you're gonna find it. Most of the retailers might not have these. They're usually older sets that have been passed down over and over and over and circulated over and over and over. So. Uh, most of the retailers probably won't have these. So your best bet is to go on eBay where a lot of the coin shops and LCSs uh, sell most of these, these sets. But don't get me wrong. Once again, I'm telling you this because they might show you this because they get them like crazy, all kinds of different uh, commemorative sets. So just look it up and see what they're going for. They're really nice. And most of them are 90% silver. Some of them have gold with it, they come with the COA, they come with the box, and I actually sell these on Instagram and on my auction, and they do really well. But just know there's a good chance that an LCS is gonna show you some of these commemorative sets, and they go for all kinds of different prices. Um, there's some with gold, there's some without gold, I mean, who knows? But uh, for an example here is another one. So you got an Olympic coin set, and I think this one actually does have gold. There you go. But it can get confusing because they have all kinds of different denominations, different sizes of gold, different purities. For, for an example, this is the same size as a $5 lib. So I think it's like 0.24 of a, five, of a troy ounce. So a little bit less than a quarter ounce. So you gotta know these things at the top of your head. So you can do the math and see if they're offering you something good. And you can negotiate with some of them. So there's that, those proof sets. Another thing is if you end up going there uh, pretty often, you can actually build a relationship and you'll notice that the more often you go, the more things you buy, the more you chat, the more you do those things, uh, the prices will start going down. You can actually build a relationship with your LCS, whereas uh, these online dealers, you just can't. Uh, you're just basically a number. 
So it's really good to buy from these LCSs and uh, go as often as you can, as often as you you know you would want to or able to. Whenever you want to buy some bullion, instead of buying online for that standard stuff, not this stuff. You're probably gonna have to go online for this, but for the standard stuff, uh, go to your LCS and you'll you'll see that the prices start to work out um, on their own. LCSs are probably the best place to get your bullion, to be honest. If you haven't hit your LCS or looked up your local coin shop, uh, trying to find a place where you could you know, do some business in person, if you find a really good LCS, you can actually learn a lot too. I know the LCS that I'm working at now, they like to tell you a lot of the information. So they would hand you this and automatically tell you the, the purity, the, the weight, the denomination, everything and the history behind it. So you can actually learn a lot from these LCSs. But the main thing, besides that uh, you know, face-to-face -face interaction where you can actually learn and talk to someone and kind of hang out a little bit and you know, see what other people are buying and all kinds of things, that experience, they have really good prices if you could find the right one. Junk silver, constitutional silver, eagles, maples, all that standard bullion uh, should be offered by your LCS in, I mean, large quantities, and it should be at a good price. So once again, if you go online and you see it's being sold, let's just say Constitutional is going for $18.50 per dollar, your LCS should be around $17.50 um, or $18 for that matter. So $0.50 cents lower. It should be lower than what's being offered online because what's online is all retail and like i said the lcs has access directly to the wholesalers and for that reason they're able to offer you um cheaper prices on bullion another thing lcs's have are a lot of rare coins and it really depends on the lcs there's some that are going to have very few there's some that are going to have a ton there's some that are going to have massive varieties and there's some that are just not so once again if you want to get into numismatics um, that's a whole nother ball game and uh, that's really important that you find the right LCS and you definitely do your research and the same thing with that if you get a coin that's in a slab that's graded you want to get into numismatics and start getting these rare dates key dates um, limited coins and you know really nice old coins highly collectible you got to do your research you have to and there's nothing wrong with pulling out your phone and uh, just doing a quick little search on eBay to get an idea, eBay is full of these local coin shops. My LCS sells on eBay and it is just full of these guys and they look at what other people are selling this stuff for. So eBay is a really good indicator to at least get an idea of how much things are going for. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is a brief little uh, video on how to navigate an LCS uh, like a pro like a pro guys. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later.